Hey guys, Mark here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a Gaucho fan knot interweave onto our 4 byte Turk's head that we have covered in the previous tutorial. For this project, you're again going to need about 11 feet of paracord, type 1 paracord that is, if you're using the same mandrel that I am, which is about 5 or 6 millimeters wide or about a quarter of an inch thick. Now, for this project, you are going to need a lot of patience and probably you will have to rewatch some parts of it multiple times to get it down. If you have any questions, please post below and also please comment on the quality of this video. I'm going to make a bunch more and I would really like to know what you guys like and dislike about these videos so I can improve. With that said, let's get started. So here you can see my 4 byte base knot set up and I have attached my secondary color to the left of the standing end of the base knot. And we're going to follow the standing end of our base knot using our secondary color, going under where it is going under and over where it is going over. So if we take a look in practice, we're going to go on the left of our standing end and simply follow it to the right side of the knot. So under, then over, then under, then over again, and under, and over, and so on. Always just make sure you're parallel to the standing end of the primary color and simply double up the standing end. And as you can see, the cords are indeed parallel to each other. Once you have reached your right end, it is time to turn back into the knot and continue interweaving. We exited with an under one, so we're going to re-enter the knot using an over one. So over and then continue with an under, then an over, and then we have two cords that we need to split here since they are both parallel. So we're going to go under, over, under, then under this cord to split the pair. Like this. And then go over two. We're not counting the red color as an actual cord and we're keeping on with our over under sequence. Now let me show you how to do this in practice. So we begin with an over, since we exited with an under. So over, under. Then over and under to split a pair then over two, then an under, and an over, and again splitting a doubled section using an under, and then continuing with an over two, since the next chord should be an over and we are not counting the red as a chord. And then an under, over and under again to split another pair. And over two again. And continue this until you reach the left side. So we have reached the left side of the knot again and we have exited with an over two. This means we're going to enter with an under. So under this one. Then 
then we're going to go over, under, and then we have a pair here that we need to split. And the only way that we can do this is by actually going over to here, over these two chords. And then continue with our over under sequence. Now if we see this in practice, we're going to start with an under, over, under, then over two, to split a pair, and then under, over, under, and again over 2 to split a pair. So over to split this pair here. And we're going to continue this onto our right side, going over under, then again splitting another pair by going over 2, and then under, and so on. So we have reached our right side, exiting with an under one. Here. Basically splitting a pair. We're now going to re-enter the knot, going over one, since we exited with an under one, then go under, and then we have a pair to split here and another pair here. So two sections of pairs. So we're going to go over, under, then over, under two to split both sections, like this, and then continue with an over two, since the red chord doesn't count, and then continue again. If we take a look in practice, we start with an over under, then over, under two, to split both sections, then over two, And again, we start with an under one. Under one. Then we have two sections of two to split again. Here. Which we're going to do by going over. Then under two to split both sections. and then over to, ignoring our red chord, and then start again with an under. So under, and then splitting two more sections, going over, under two, then over two and simply continue to your left side until you exit the knot. We have come to our left side, again exiting with an over 2. Since we exited with an over, we're going to enter with an under. So under, over, and at which point we have a bunch of sections to split. Just like when we were going to the Left side, we have two sections here that need to be split. Now let's actually do this. 
So we exit with an over, re enter with an under. then over, then under to the split a pair, and then over to the split another pair. And then continue under, and then over this chord, and then again under the split. So over under. under 2 that is, then over 2, under 1, and again over, and under 2, to split a pair then over two under one to split a pair and continue the same way towards your right side we have exited the right side with an under again, so we're going to re-enter with an over. So we're going to go over and then immediately we have doubled sections to split. In fact, it seems that we have three doubled sections to split. So we're going to start with an over, under, to split, then go over two, under two, to split like this. As you can see, tying these knots is basically finding ways to split pairs. So over, then under one to split a pair, then over two to split another doubled section or pair that is, and then under two to split a pair. To continue, we're going to go over two, since the next chord is an over. Then continue splitting our next set of three double sections by going under one, so over to under one, then over two, under two, to split these sections here. Then continue with an over two, under one to split a pair, then over two, under two, always splitting pairs. Continue this towards your left side and exit the knot on the left. We have now exited the left side with an over two again. So we're going to enter with an under one.
so under one and then we have a bunch of sections to split it looks like three pairs of two parallel chords so we're going to need to split all of these by going under two to split a pair and then over two to split a pair now in practice this would look like this under one since we went over when we exited the knot then over two to split a pair and under two to split a pair then over two to split another pair here so over two and under one We then have a bunch of pairs to split. So we're going to continue with an over two, then an under two, which will again split a pair. Then over two to split a pair and under one. And once again, over two splits a pair, then under two splits a pair. And then going over two again, we'll split another pair. Simply continue towards your right side until you exit the knot. We have finally reached our right end and our last pass. And since we exited with an under one, we're going to re-enter with an over one. After that, the last sequence is a simple under two, over two sequence. Always splitting pairs. So if you get lost, just see the pairs and split those. So we enter with an over and then immediately split a pair by going under two. So our first under two will already split a pair. So over one, under two. So we went under two, so the next will be over two. So our over two splits a pair, and we continue with an under two. You can see that I have switched to a smaller mandrel to make my knot tying a bit easier. If your knot gets too tight, simply switch to a smaller mandrel. And again, continue over two, under two. Just splitting pairs in an over two, under two sequence. That's it. And once we reach our left side, we're going to finish our knot. Once you have reached your left side, you have finished your knot exiting with an over two. We're going to continue by placing our working end next to the standing end of the red color, which is our interweave color. 
since it is entering the knot, the standing end that is, with an under 2, we're also going to place our working end with an under 2 to finish the interweave. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please do post them down below and I will try to help you out the best I can. Also be sure to watch my next video, which is going to cover finishing this interweave into a nice looking bracelet. With that said, thank you guys and see you next time.